It's Wednesday. I'm back hard at work. I've got this side all cut. See, I've got the piece cut out from it. And it's cut to size, so I'm going to go ahead and paint it. Of course, I forgot to charge my battery, so it took me a while to be able to cut this out. I had to keep swapping out batteries until I finally got it cut. Now they've got a chance to charge while I'm painting this. And once I get this painted, then I'm going to be making the nesting box and get that painted on the inside while I get this up. I don't have something that I can put wood up on when I need to cut it. And it can be extremely difficult to cut a piece of plywood and without having it resting on two things. Well, I have, this is a cart that I own already. This is the cart that somebody else left at the farm. Uh, needed new tires. The tires that it has now are smaller than the ones it did have, but they were only $4 each. So for $16, got the cart fixed and can use it now when I need to cut wood. So this will get cut. I can get the nesting box put together. The side is over there. I did have it on the wagon, but I needed the wagon to put the wood on. And I can get this cut, get it put together, and hopefully by then that side will be dry and I can get it up. Got that cut and I'm ready to put it together. Easiest way I found to do it is I put one piece on the ground, I put the other on the cart, go ahead and get my drill and drill some pilot holes because it makes it easier. I don't end up bashing my fingers as much and get this all screwed together. Then I can put the sides and the uh, dividers in and get this painted. That's screwed together, so I'm now ready to find my sides, and, which are already cut, as well as my dividers, which are from the old nesting box. So I'll be reusing them and get them in place. Evidence that I'm not a carpenter. I'm all ready to figure out where to put the dividers, measure that, and it's four foot. It should have been 39 and 3 eighths. I had cut for 39 and 3 eighths, and then I cut the wrong way when I was cutting the pieces. So, it means I'm wasting some boards. I hope I have enough now. I should to finish this, but it means I'm going to have to buy another piece of wood in order to get the nesting box made for the grow out house. Well, it's been taken apart. Pieces are cut off. And I'm ready now to get back to work and make this the proper way. I have holes drilled to make it easier to find, figure out where the boards have to go. Those are the dividers. These are the ends. I'm ready to put this all together now and then get it painted. And once it's painted, um, I'll be ready to start putting this together more. Well, it's all together and ready for painting. I did have to trim some off of these because they were a little bit higher in the old nesting box than they are in this one. But I did the smart thing and marked them in place as to which side had to be cut and had no trouble cutting them and getting them in place. There you go. It's all painted and ready to be put back put together. Uh, I figure I'm doing pretty good. In spite of the setbacks, I had wanted to be done by 12 so I could take a break for lunch. And it is, I don't know if you can see that or not, 12.04. Of course, it doesn't want to come off easy when I want it to. There we go, 12.04. So I'm going to let that dry while I eat lunch and then I'm going to go ahead and get that put on. I'm hoping I might even be able to get the back done today. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I've got the nesting box on. I cut the side so that it goes around the nesting box. I'm going to see whether or not it fits or if I'm going to have to cut it apart and put it together that way. If it fits, then I'm going to be shutting this off while I screw it in place.
so all that's left to do now is I'm going to be covering the sides with the boards like this as well as make a roof and uh, that roof will be covered with the roofing material but that, that I use on the top but that'll have to wait until after I get it cut for there went on and I've traced around one for the one side and just so you know if you ever work with this sort of stuff magic marker is much easier to see on this than pencil I had been using pencil and it was almost impossible to see the lines so now I'm using magic marker and I can see the lines real well what's left to do on this side now is to paint it I've got that all on and I also got the board in for the nesting box so I'm going to go grab my paint uh, my paintbrush and I'm going to get painting and it looks like I will have time to at least get the board for here. There you go, it's painted. Of course I didn't paint that since it's going to be being covered by a piece of roofing and I did get that board painted and it's 207 so I have enough time to work on this side so let me see how much farther I can get. Got the side cut and painted. I thought about doing the front as well. Only problem is I'm having problems. My battery for some reason are not charging properly. I just barely managed to get that cut. So this is probably dry enough for me to just pick up and put where it belongs and uh, screw it in place. Hopefully I've got enough battery for that. I'm going to take my drill over and check all the batteries to make sure I grab one that's not dead. Get that done up and then I will go ahead and I will paint the outside and that'll be it for today. There you go, the sides up. It's painted. I didn't paint all the way over to the edge because I got to put a piece of trim here. It's like why paint when I've got to put another piece of wood there. So I will get that done tomorrow. I'll be putting a piece of the um, hardware cloth here and almost done the house so hope you're enjoying seeing the house go together and have a nice day